Hello there, Genso here. This is a quick tip video to help out those who are struggling with the new early 1-2, um, early Tower Knight. Um, so this video is going to be um, kind of making an assumption that you already know how to do the 1-1 one, one skip. Um, that being said, um, good, good, and good. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be spawning up on the Lord's Path here. I'm going to be taking you through kind of um, what I'm doing to manage this section, and I've been having a lot of success with it. So um, now that we're going to be skipping the Phalanx, um, you're not going to need the Fire Bombs as the starting gift. Um, I've been going with the Elixirs. I think that that's probably um, the best choice and has some diversity and that you can use it against bosses and you can use it to replenish stamina a little bit quicker. Uh, but when you get to the top of those steps back there, uh, you want to go ahead and start your sprint um, coming out of the tunnel. Um, Try not to overmanage your stamina right there. Try to um, really kind of commit to it, and um, you should be good. If you kind of start and stop your run a little bit too much, uh, the dragon can um, aggro early, and he can flame you on that first bridge. So um, try to avoid that if you can, but uh, be prepared to do a quick quit out if you have to. Um, by this wheel here, I like to do a quit out because when you spawn back in, the dragon's going to go ahead and take out all of these draglings on the bridge for you. So these archers right here, I think is um, everybody's least favorite thing about this level. Uh, if you just kind of roll in between them the way that I did there, you'll be able to split the pair and um, you won't have too much trouble getting past them initially. So grab the bow by these two guys here. And we're moving on to this third bridge here. Um, and this is kind of the part that everybody's having a little bit of trouble with. <laughs> As you can see there, yeah, um, archers already firing at me. So um, what I like to do is move to the left side of this bridge for this first stretch behind the carriage. Um, and the reason I do that is because um, the way that the bridge kind of curves, um, it does keep the um, archers who are behind you, at least the ones on the ground, from having a good angle to shoot you. So something to be aware of. As I approach the fog here, I like to go ahead and go inside. Um, that's going to play the cutscene, and I'm going to do a quick quit out. What that's going to do is de-aggro every enemy that was um, shooting at me and uh, those knights who were also chasing me, and it's going to give me a good opportunity here to go ahead and um, take my time and kind of uh, leisurely set up the, uh, the bow skip here on the Tower Knight. So moving through this wall here, <laughs> we're going to be inside the boss room, and this is the other part that people are currently having trouble with. Um, not to fear, though, I have a pretty good strategy here that's extremely consistent and um, will keep um, a lot of those arrows um, off of you. So the strategy is to lock onto the boss. Um, you're going to do a roll forwards and to the left while queuing the spell. Fire the spell. Um, do a roll backwards and to the right. Cue the spell. Take a couple steps backwards and fire the spell. And as you can see, uh, the archers are having um, a hell of a time in hitting me <laughs> while I'm doing this. So um, that, that's really all there is to it. Um, this is very repeatable. Um, I was doing this, you know, all night uh, the past couple of uh, streams, and I, I, I don't think I had a single death here. Um, I did take a couple of hits from the archers um, on different occasions, but for the most part, you're going to be safe right here. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, good luck in your runs. I hope that this video helped you and I'll see you next time.